Right, the Harley Davidson Nightster should have been the special, but what do I think of it? Let's get into it. Right then, Harley Davidson Nightster. Um, it's it is it is what's the word I'm looking for? It it, it lacks balls basically. It just lacks balls. Uh, let me explain. This has got the 975 cc engine. That's 95 newton meters of torque, and it pushes out 89 horsepower. And it shows. It shows. You would think that a 975 uh, would have a bit more grunt to it. Uh, but it doesn't. Style-wise, I think it looks all right, especially from the right-hand side. The left-hand side, I think it's just uninspiring, but that's the same for the Sports RS. When you're on it, when you're riding it, it feels really great. You're sat inside it, it's got a good riding position. The Nightster Special has got higher bars, and I've sat on that, and it's actually even nicer than the standard Nightster. So from a riding point of view, it's great. It handles really nicely. It's got a nice balance when you go into the bends. You can quickly change direction, so it's perfect for street riding as well. You've got mid-mounted foot rest and foot controls, so it's perfect for street riding. But it lacks that certain punch, if you know what I mean. So when you're at the lights and you want to pull away, there's a kind of a little dip. I had it on sport mode, by the way. And there's just a little bit of a lag there and it's only when you really open up you twist it up then you get a bit of a power boost it's not really a power boost but you kind of get the the full feeling of the engine and it does rev up but it's like i'll tell you what it's like it's like riding a 600 cc sports bike or sports replica versus a thousand cc you know they're still great fun but you have to work them a little bit harder that's exactly the same here you have to work this a little bit harder to get the sort of performance out of it and it's just not really there if you know what i mean suspension wise it's fine for what it is but personally i would have liked to see the sports to s suspension on this a lot more adaptable and you can fine tune the suspension settings for your style of riding for braking i would have liked to have seen a dual disc setup for the front but saying that, the braking on it is absolutely fine. Again, you haven't got a massive amount of power there that you have to stop, so it's fine. But a suspension upgrade or the Sports S suspension on it would have been better, in my humble opinion. But riding position is great, no problem. So this is the Nightster. The Nightster S has taller risers on it, so the bars come up a little bit higher. The Nightster Special has the Sportster S dash. So you can hook up your phone to it for sat nav, that kind of thing. It's got different rider modes. So the Nightster has only got the three rider modes, road, rain, and sport. And you can turn off traction control if you want. But with the Nightster Special, you've got that customizable rider mode as well. Now with the Nightster Special, you also get the, the pillion pad, which you i've already got on here of course and you get the passenger footrest which i've already got on here as well now as i said just like the sports arrest the nightster and the nightster special from the left hand side is just a bit uninspiring it just looks a little bit unfinished but the overall bike as a package it's nice it is surprisingly nice i was really reserved about uh, riding these bikes i gotta say but i wanted to give them a go purely for urban street riding and i think this is a much better bike than the sportster s but i know what you're gonna say what should they have done to improve it well I I, this is what they should have done okay for the nightster as it is right there actually just leave it alone just leave it as it is you got a kind of a a tame street bike i think it just lower the price on it a little bit but it's it's okay it's decent enough for what it is and once you open it up it's fine but it's got nice balance and it feels nice and light so for for urban riding for upright riding it's great for the nightster special however they've missed a trick so for the nightster special this is what they should have done yeah they could put the passenger seat on there and the rear foot rest they can raise the handlebars that's all great that's all fine but what they should have done they should have uprated the suspension but mostly mostly they should have put the 1250 cc engine in there that would have made it special but really the nightster isn't really that special and the nightster special well it's not special at all 
if you know what I mean. As an overall bike, the Nightster and the Nightster Special are okay. They're okay. The engines, I'm a fan of these Revolution Max engines. I think they're great engines. I just think the 975 is just a bit underpowered. It's just, it hasn't got the grunt. The 1250, however, especially in the Sports Arrest, yeah, that's got some nice grunt. The standard exhaust, yes, they do sound anemic, but they all do, right? Put some aftermarket exhaust on it, and well, do you know what? It'll sound a lot better. But overall, it's a nice package. This is a much better package than the Sports Duress. It just lacks power. If you had the 1250 in there, it'd be a really great ride, I reckon. But there we go. So that's the, the Nightster and the Nightster Special once over. What do you think? Let us know. Right, I'm off to do a bit more riding and uh, see what else I can get up to. Catch you again. Ta-da.